Hey there, YouTube subscribers and Facebook fans. Hey, we're going to make a quick little video here on uh, just in this week alone, we had three different cases where brand new parts were bad. Let me show you those examples quick, and, and keep in mind we made videos on how to fix them, but I'll summarize in the end what my thoughts are on this. It only takes one hole to not line up for the part not to work. Piston pin that won't slip through isn't going to work very well. An LED light, and it would work. Check this out. Inside that one, do you see the gold on the three there? That's the brass fittings inside there. When you look at this one, see how one's missing the top corner? Right there. Brand new, that part was manufactured wrong. I want you to think about, you know, as you enter into your craft of, of being a technician that you, you can't even trust new. Just things go wrong. Sometimes in manufacturing, maybe there's a new employee. Uh, there's a million different reasons something can go wrong, and I think that as technicians, it's really smart for us to be aware of this so that we don't waste crazy amounts of time. You know, in the case of those lights, had I not even been testing it first and went ahead and wired them in and did everything else, if the light was bad, then I have to remove it, pull it down, and so on. And I, I totally get within your dealerships and in your shops, you're going to have a, a balancing act of how much testing do you really do versus just putting it on. If things aren't going well, you know, then you're going to test it. And I think where people get hung up is sometimes they throw new parts at something and the problem isn't fixed. So they start looking somewhere else because they have this mentality of, hey, that's a new part, so it can't be that. Yes, it can. You got three examples here just this week. Even that gasket where the hole was punched wrong, this is the, the gasket kit. In the kit here, it says uh, that it comes with OS, which meant oil seals. And look, no oil seals. Nothing in the box. It's super frustrating because you lose time and now, you know, the vehicle's on the lift to you as the shop. Now you got to take it back off and reschedule. So I think this is a conversation that's worthy of talking about. Um, I hope you found it uh, useful to, uh, to think about how to either train employees or to consider your own choices uh, as you repair things. But make it a great day and keep wrenching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so. Uh, we love having you here and being part of our community. All right, keep wrenching.